Hi everyone, I'm here with Jackie and Terry Stacy, and we have had a great opportunity to just sit and visit a little bit. And the topics that we covered, I think, are going to be very helpful and educational for you guys as well. Jackie and Terry have been involved in dogs since the 1950s. Of course, they started before they were born. <laughs> and um, Jackie is an all-breed judge. She and Terry had five groups at the same time. When Jackie decided to go on, Terry stopped at five. He was happy at five. So we have a couple of different perspectives in the same household here, which we'll hear a little bit, bit about. The other topic that we have been discussing, which I think is near and dear to my heart, is they are owner-breeder handlers, and they are still owner-breeder handlers while judging. So we're going to get a perspective as to how they feel that has helped them in their judging career. So Jackie, tell me a little bit about your process in becoming an Albury judge. You have been through, I think, a few different processes. For sure. So for sure. let's let's hear a little bit about how you went through that process and, and what your perspective is. Um, I believe that I have applied under four different programs. And in that process, it was, um, there were some major modifications to the prior process. And uh, no matter what it, how it was presented, my intent, and I'm so pleased that I approached it this way, was to just do what was available, spend most of my time doing study and research and observation and speaking to major breeders about numbers of different breeds, rather than complaining about the fact that now the American Kennel Club has meddled once again in mm -hmm. the judging approval process. Mm -hmm. That has served me well, mm -hmm. and I have been fortunate because I have been received positively by several of the, I guess, uh, approval directors at the time, mm -hmm. and I had been advanced by, they advanced me by giving me some additional help such as I started with the group, mm -hmm. and at one time I was given a full group, mm -hmm. and I then from that point on continued with whatever process was in, in place at the time. That's pretty much it. Terry, you stopped at five. How come? Uh, I just thought I didn't really need to judge more groups. Um, I'm not certain that I'm Stopped. There are a few breeds left in the two groups that I don't judge that I would feel comfortable judging that I think I either finished champions in or mm -hmm. had some kind of a, of a major experience with. But um, I just don't seem to get around to making out the application and doing it. Mm -hmm. I get all the assignments I need. Um, it would, I would only want to apply for these because I, you know, feel like I can contribute something by, with the knowledge that I have of them. I can't tell you that I'm going to do it or not. Mm -hmm. um, and I know I don't want to get two more groups. I, I mm -hmm. don't need, need that uh, for my judging career. Mm -hmm. So at this point in time, you're happy with what you have, and you may or may not get a few more, depending on... I think that's correct. Okay, you know, well, that's good. I mean, that's I, fair. You know, I never say never. Uh -huh. I, Absolutely. I, I can tell you for sure I'm not going to apply for any more whole group. Uh -huh. But there are a few breeds that, you know, I feel like you contribute something with the knowledge that I have. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can tell both of you one thing for sure, and that is, like, on a day like today, when the two of you have stood there and both judged a full load and now have the willingness to sit here and chat with us today, that's amazing, and I thank you very much. But, you know, you're still smiling, and that means you're having fun. And that means so much to the sport.